How about a hand for that guy right there? Standing the whole time doing it, Gary Olson. He's earned his stripes. You should be able to sit down and make somebody else do it, but I, it's, I don't know, man. It kind of looks like maybe you're going to, I don't know, it's sort of like I was a bomb or something. It's, you didn't walk in the door to dress like that, did you? They wouldn't let it happen. I'll tell you what. I have no formal training in, like, Photoshop and layout or anything, and that guy right there pretty much gave me the crash course Gary Olson yeah. school in my younger days. So I owe him quite a bit because he really taught me how to, uh, well, not make terrible looking ads. And a pretty decent looking paper, I think. So thank you very much, Gary. And if you go to, you know, village in across the world, you might see uh, a couple of prints we did together. We did one called Dubuque's 20th Century and one called uh, Dubuque Stained Glass. And uh, so he let me ride his coattails to kind of get my feet wet in that world there. So I appreciate it. And speaking of great shooters, I better mention, you've seen photography up here all night. And those guys are guys like Ron Tiggis, Stephen Schleening, Dave Haas, General Bob, Garth Firsty, who take pictures when I ask them to go do things or go do them on their own, then share them with us, let us use them in the paper. And, uh, and it makes our paper so much better that those guys are shooting. I can't tell those guys enough how much I appreciate what they do. And they don't just go shoot it. They shoot the best pictures in town. They're just awesome. And you go on Facebook on our page and you see these incredible shots that you don't, bands come through on this stage in Diamond Joe and then they leave and then they find our pictures on Facebook and right guys and then they contact them and say who took those pictures of our band can we use those for a promotion for the national promotion for big bands. And they're coming back to Dubuque to say hey you guys take the best pictures so awesome. Thank you so much for that. And before I go to the next one one more thing is remember when you're reading 365 for free that it only happens because of all the guys, girls, businesses who are advertising in it. The people who put their ads in that paper allow us to do what we do. And uh, the fact that 10,000 of you read it every two weeks makes it worth it for them to put their ads in. So thank you for reading. But thank them for, uh, for putting the ads in that make us stay alive. Really appreciate it. Okay. Down to the final four here. Should we do it like this? That works so much better. Some companies celebrate their charity with flags waving and big ad campaigns, while others support their communities in huge ways without hardly making a ripple in the public. And the Hodge Company fits that second bill to a T. You know, there's a danger to letting the world know you got free cookies. Before you know it, the world's lined up and asking for theirs. Maybe this is why they're so quiet about their generosity. After all, there are many more cookies in the world than there are warehouses. But in Dubuque, a number of those warehouses um, provide the valuable space inside are controlled by the Hodge Company. And while, you're, while you'll find them full of stuff from John Deere parts to more John Deere parts, um, you'll also find nooks and crannies across those warehouses holding things that hold supplies for groups like Feed the Children and Toys for Tots, which I might have heard of, Pedals for Progress, the new Optimus as well as more direct sponsorship for Run for Troops, a 26-mile run on the Heritage Trail with proceeds supporting military men and women and their families. Without the availability of the generous storage space provided by Hodge Company, the scope and effectiveness of these efforts would be hugely diminished, if not uh, ended entirely. It may seem like a small thing, but many small kindnesses can add up, and free space is not making money. For Tim, Mike Hodge, and their employees, looking past just the bottom line to the greater good seems to be an idea worth putting a roof over. For their tremendous service to the community, the 365 Impact Award for business goes to the Hodge Company. Thank you, uh, 365. Uh, it's truly an honor uh, for all of the 600 employees of Hodge Company uh, that give their money, time, and talents to make sure that uh, the communities in which we serve thrive and remain a better place. So for that, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next.